when you cost press impressions or the run cost for a job, you must follow the following five steps. Some of these steps should be familiar to you since we've been doing them for the last two and a half to three weeks or two and a half to three lectures if you're taking the summer class. Um, but the first thing we always have to do is calculate the number out of the item being printed on your press size sheet because we need to figure out how many sheets we need before we can figure out how long it will take to run them through the press. Once we know the number out, you'll divide the total quantity that you're printing. So let's say we're printing a million postcards, they fit 24 out. You would divide the quantity of a million by 24 out per sheet, and that would give you the total number of sheets needed. Remember that we always round total number of sheets up to the next whole number because we can't run partial sheets through the press. Step three is where we start calculating press impressions. So you're going to multiply the total number of sheets needed by the number of passes through the press to calculate the total press impressions. So if 10,000 sheets go through the press one time to print, uh, to print the front, it's 10,000 impressions. If it's a two-sided printing job, you'd multiply it times two. And the only option you ever have is one pass or two passes. It will never be multi uh, anything greater than two. Once we know the total number of impressions, we're going to divide that by the number of impressions or number of sheets the printing press can take per hour. So let's say that you have a million impressions and your press can run 10,000 impressions per hour. If you divide the two, you'll get the total number of hours on press. And last but not least, you're going to multiply the total number of hours on press, which you're going to round to two decimal places, by the BHR for the press. So let's walk through this together. The first couple steps should be very familiar to you. If you're still having trouble with this, please come see me during my open office hours or online chat hours, or you can reference the last couple lectures to, to, to replay um, the strategy for completing those tasks. So step one is to calculate the number out of the item being printed. And then step two is we're going to divide the total quantity by the number out. Now at this point, we've done this six or seven times, so you should really understand it. So let's walk through that pretty quickly. I've kind of grayed out these slides because these are the same slides that you will see on previous lectures. Uh, specifically, these slides come from the Packaging and Shipping Weights lecture. So, when we calculate the number out, we have to do the option one, option two scenario. So, we're going to run all of the book covers vertically, and then we'll turn them on the side and see if we can fit more sheets that way. This is the formula that you want to print. You want to make sure that you have this slide printed out for your cheat sheet for exam number three. You'll be using this frequently. Um, to repeat that very quickly, you will take the sheet size, which in this case is 23 by 35, and divide it by the item size that's on the sheet, which in this case is 5 by 7. Take the whole number, so when you come up with 4.6 times 5, you would take 4 times 5 because that's the whole number, and this scenario would give you 20 out. We always test the option two scenario because in this case, option two gives us 21 out. If you have any questions about how to calculate the number out, please contact me immediately so I can help you and we can move forward with the semester.